And here to spread the holiday cheer, we've got the youngest member of our Drew crew. It's the Shirley Temple King himself, Leo Kelly. Oh, How are you guys? How are you? Oh, great. We're so happy you're here. I'm so happy I'm here. How are you? I'm good, honey. How are you? Great. How was your thanks? How was your guys' Thanksgiving? Mine was great. And I had all of my daughter's family, um, which is my family, and we just had a blast. We spent three days together cooking and shopping and just merriment. Yeah, that's awesome. Right? <laughs> Getting, uh, as soon as Thanksgiving is over in my family, we just go straight to Christmas. Oh, totally. I think, Ross, you like to do your Christmas tree like on Thanksgiving. Yeah, last bite of turkey, and then I'm like, let's go, put up the tree. I'm just like you. Yeah. High five. Leo, how was your Thanksgiving? Mine was good. We hung out at my we hung out at my grandma's, watched football, had turkey, you know, all the Thanksgiving classics. All the classics, all the trimmings. Yep. All right. Well, let's kick this off with a toast with our friendly Christmas cocktail, Leo. What have we got? We have Santa's hat Shirley Temple. Now you might be thinking, is this just an ordinary Shirley Temple? No, it's the Santa's hat Shirley Temple. Of course. Of you course. start off with a normal Shirley Temple, if you don't know what that is, it, it, you've been living under a rock, just kidding. You <laughs> mix together ginger ale, a splash of grenadine, a bunch of ice, and of course, three cherries. So here's a Christmas twist. All you do is you take your glass and you dip it in some sort of like frosting Ooh. or uh, marshmallow cream. In this case, we're using marshmallow cream. Ooh, Let's just get that rim all smothered in it. Okay, gotta get it all gooey. Yep. All right. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> it really did get stuck. Yeah. But it's gonna be a good adhesive. Mm -hmm. That 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 Santa is. snow is gonna stick right on. Is this yeah. is this coconut? That is coconut, uh yes, coconut flakes. Oh, so we're gonna roll it in the coconut and then yes. it sticks to the rim, right? Mm -hmm. And that's like the fluffy part of Santa's hat. Oh the cute. Good. <laughs> And then we get to drink the real one. Cheers, you guys. Look, you guys, and this one looks Cheers. like it's all done. I love this. Oh, wait, and then Leo, don't forget that we put the candy cane in, and don't forget the maraschino cherries. Of course not. Right here. <laughs> and then... Cute. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. I love you, Leo. I love you, Rocky. That's good. Mm. Mm. That, that is, is so good. I got my daily spill when I go on the Drew Barrymore show, but whatever. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It happens. <laughs> yep. okay, I'm going to adopt that. It happens. It happens. It happens. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, while we sip on these, you want to do a little story with us? Of course. I love to. Okay, great. What do you think about this? Uh, do you know who Martha Stewart is? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, who is she? She's a chef, and she, my favorite thing that she cooks is cookies. You know what? You're right. You are so right. Okay, well, Martha Stewart Living reports on a new, st a new study that says if you decorate your house for the holidays, you might seem friendlier to your neighbors. They say the lights, the deer, the snowmen, they all make it look like a, f a friendly family lives inside. What do you think about this? I actually believe that theory because... I'm not I actually believe that theory because whenever I'm on the bus on my way to school or back from school or I'm in, I'm in my parents' car, I always see them going around like straight after Thanksgiving through November 1st. I see them popping up everywhere. And our town really goes out on Christmas decorations. And when I look at them, I think, wow, that person really took the time to decorate their house to make other people happy. Yeah. That's what I think. And then, if I'm in a bad mood or I'm in a good mood, that just makes my day even better. What do you think? Great. That's the whole point, right? Yeah. It is. It's like a big welcome mat. Yeah. yeah. It's either saying, I just want to visually present you with joy or come on in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And ha most of the time, it's come on in. Well, we should test that theory, Leo. Let's just go, go knock on a bunch of doors and see what happens. Uh, I'll do that. Okay. Well, All we'll right. do it together. All right. Listen, everyone's favorite Christmas villain, can we think of it? Guess? Yeah. Grinch. Grinch, yeah. It's Grinch. It's the Grinch. Architectural Digest actually reports that now you can take a vacation in the Grinch's lair. 
It's a rental in Boulder, Utah, carefully designed to look just like his cave. And the signs outside say, leave now and get lost, kind of the opposite of the welcome and come on in. And inside you'll find his furry green shoes and the fantastical organ. What do you think, Leo? Would you come on in or go away? Well, on one condition, I'd come in, and I think you all might agree with me. As long as the Grinch is somewhere else, doesn't matter if it's the North Pole or somewhere else, he just needs to be out of there. As lo if he's in a grumpy spirit, he needs to be out of there because I do not want him going around ruining my Christmas judging me Thank what you. to do. Preach. I was um, paddle boarding, kayaking with my daughter, Olive. We went to San Diego Ooh. and um, the guy literally goes, I was like, that's such a cool house. And he goes, oh, that's Theodore Geisel's house. Um, I was like, Dr. Seuss. And he goes, yeah. And his wife owned a house up on the hill because every holiday she would get so upset about the holidays that she would just go to the house on the hill and avoid everyone. And that was the inspiration for the Grinch. Really? Ooh. Yes, put I that in your I never knew, I would have never known. I never knew that either. Put that in your Architectural Digest article. <laughs> um, well, Leo, as always, we've been on this show together since the very beginning. And as long as we are here, I'd really like to be together. Would that be okay? Yes. Thank you, Leo. Cheers. You're the greatest. Well done, buddy. Everybody, Leo Kelly. And if you'd like the recipe to Santa's hat, Shirley Temple, it's on our website.